Today we have a case of restoration on three, impl uh, three implants and three multi-units. What is the... this? This is an abrasion from a, probably from a toothbrush. He's a very aggressive toothbrusher. Really? It can... Tooth yeah. Up to this. What we want to show in this case is the difference between uh, different types of multi-units that you can use and different types of screw channels that uh, you can use while you're using those multi-units. So for example, when using the V-type multi-units, you have different types of slits. If you use the four millimeter sleeve, there is an option for you to use the small screw channel. The small screw channel where the screw itself is embedded inside the bridge between the screw, the sleeve and the crown itself. Mm -hmm. And the size of the screw channel is for the screwdriver and that's all. So you can see that you have a small screw channel just for the screwdriver, for the hex inside to close the screw, to tighten the screw. And if you're using the three, three millimeter sleeves, you, for example, in here, you can see that the screw channel that you're using is, is for the, the whole screw. So the screw channel is much, much bigger. And the surface that the screw channel occupies from the surface of the teeth of the tooth is very large in percentage and in uh, the the area itself. And it makes the bridge uh, weaker. Yeah, it makes the bridge much more fragile. Uh, what are uh, are those wreckage? No, this is uh, probably leftovers of cement mm -hmm. because the cementation of the sleeves many times is in the mouth uh, because you want to compensate on different types of. Uh, inaccuracies that was made because of the scanning, the manufacturing, the sintering processes. So when you cement the, the sleeves inside the mouth, you then take out the bridge and you can clean them uh, outside the mouth. So there won't be any, any leftovers of uh, cementation. Here you can see the three multi-units that will be restoring the, the bridge on them. These are the different multi-units? Yeah, these are the, the different multi-units that we're using. Uh, we took impression on one height of multi-units and then one of the multi-units, we changed its height without taking an impression. This is one of the options that uh, you, can, you have when you're storing or on a Unica's uh, multi-units, on the V-type multi-units. Even though you take an impression on, for example, two millimeter height multi-units, mm -hmm. When you know the height of the multi-unit that you took impression on, you can always change it to different heights. For in the example, library? Yeah, in the library itself, in the uh, CAD program. Mm -hmm. So you t we took impression from two millimeter multi-unit, then we changed it to three millimeter multi-unit, and then what the doctor is doing is just in the mouth, just switching from two millimeter to three millimeter, and he screws the bridge. Easy of it. Yeah. And, and uh, you can do it all with D-type also, right? Yeah, you can do it with D-type also, but not with angulate multi -units. No, not angulate, straight Yeah, with the straight ones, with all the multi units, you can do this. Mm -hmm. And you, you do this without taking impression again. A second time. Yeah, a second time. Do it with only one impression. It saves another appointment. Yeah, it saves another appointment. You can, with one appointment, when you take impression, uh, then the technician changes the height of the multi-unit. The doctor then, on the second appointment, can change the multi-unit to that the, the, the technician changed, and he can uh, screw the bridge that the technician made on the changed multi-unit. And here you can see in the mouth the difference, how it looks like when you're using a small screw channel versus a large screw channel. You can see how small the screw channel in here and how less of the tooth, tooth surface the screw channel occupies. And on the contrary, you can see on this molar, how much of the tooth surface the screw channel here. So, uh, the bigger the sleeve that you're using, the smaller the screw channel will be? It depends on the sleeve that you're using. When you're using a standard sleeve or a big sleeve, you have enough space inside the sleeve to keep the screw. So, you can insert the screw to the sleeve and then cement the sleeve with the screw to the crown. This way you can have in the crown a very small screw channel. The screw channel is not for the screw, it's only for the hex driver mm -hmm. to tighten the screw. If you're using small sleeve, then you can't keep the screw inside the sleeve. You need to insert the screw through the crown. 
So the screw channel needs to be a little bit larger than the screw itself. So the head of the screw will just go through? Yes, yeah, so the head of the screw will just go through. If you're using standard sleeves or uh, big sleeves, you have the option to have small screw channel. But in uh, many posterior teeth, you don't have enough space, you don't have enough height. So you can't use standard sleeve, you're using smaller sleeve, and then you don't have the, ep the option to use small screw channel. And it doesn't matter on which uh, material the bridge is made of. Zirconia, PFM, No, PMA. it doesn't matter. You can do it... Uh, you yeah. can do it with everything. Where you can do it with the, the PMMA uh, to check the design, and then you can mill it from Zirconia, and then you, you have the same thing with the Zirconia bridge. If I get it correctly, so the screw channel will be much smaller to only fit the driver. Yeah. Thank you very much for being with us here today. You're welcome. And thank you for being with us. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and follow to stay tuned up to date. Have a great week.